It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Beer Moth Brewing Company and it's a can of their kind of a big deal. It's a San Diego IPA coming in at 6.9% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. I like the look of that can. Channel 4 brews. <laughs> um, breaking news type of beer, I think. Let's get the beer out into a glass of what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, have a look at that. Beer in the glass then. Nice levels of carbonation, golden amber beer, a lighter golden amber beer in colour. Uh, we've got a three finger white head, lots of crystal malt used, maybe a touch of a darker malt used here just to give it a bit of flavour from, from the malt of course there's going to be plenty of flavour from the hops um, Beer Moth Brewing Company I've had a few of their beers now um, I've had their, Ameri um, their Australian brand of beer as well which is called Churn uh, really good stuff really good stuff um, and what well, we had the, uh, the impeachment ale that was pretty good um, and now this yes we've had a few all at once it's, it's strange isn't it you wait to try a brewery's beers for maybe maybe six to eight to ten months to maybe a year and then all of a sudden three come along at once in the space of two weeks okay so I'd like to thank our channel sponsor at this stage of the beer review beersreview.co.uk the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world check out beersreview.co.uk in the description box of this video on with the beer review let's get the aroma Yeah, juicy, grapefruity, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. A little bit of sweetness from the malt coming through. It smells really good. Let's dive in. A little bit of candied, I'm going to go back in a minute. It's a bit of, like a candied, candied fruit aroma in there. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, that's terrific, terrific beer. Really clean, well-rounded brew. It's just so crisp and juicy and refreshing. Just clinically clean, like a samurai sword. It's like, bang, cuts right into you and just refreshes you first and foremost. And then it's like grapefruit juice, grapefruit juice, uh, pineapple, orange, like like um, tangerine orange flavours going on. Absolutely terrific, terrific beer. Really is. But first and foremost, as I mentioned earlier, it's the drinkability. For the 6.9% ABV beer, this beer is drinking like an absolute dream. You get a little bit of stickiness from the hops on the palate, on your lips. If you ever think about rubbing flour, whole cone hops together, you get a real kind of resiny stickiness on your on your hands. Um, it's what makes the beer, the beer, the flavour, the bitterness, it all comes from that, that hop cone. So if you think if you put enough hops in the beer, you're going to get that kind of stickiness on the lips, on the back of the throat. It's just lovely on the inside of the mouth. Lovely. Lovely, lovely beer. Really lovely beer. Let's talk about the balance of the beer. You get that sweetness first and foremost. And then it goes over to a little bit of bitterness on the back end. It's not a rampaging bitterness. It's not an, uh, an, an American West Coast style bitterness. It's more kind of sweetness, a little bit of bitterness, all the flavors bang in the middle. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. I'm really impressed with this brewery. Really, really impressed with this brewery. Behemoth, Behemoth Brewing Company. Kind of a big deal. San Diego IPA, very clever. Very clever the reason why they called it a San Diego IPA. They've not called it a West Coast IPA. 
If they called it a West Coast IPA, I'd be like, mm, not enough bitterness, but they've called it a San Diego IPA. Now that could mean a number of things this day and age, because I'm sure the, the San Diego breweries have, have caught onto this New England IPA kind of trend that's been going on, and, they, and they're placing all of the flavors from the hops in the middle of the beer, rather than bitterness on the back end. So very clever in the wording, in the description of the name of this beer then, a San Diego IPA. I really like this beer, I'm gonna rate it. Easy, easy drinking beer, um, smashing. There's a touch of mango in there as the beer's slightly warming up now, some peach. It's tart, it's jammy. It's just a lovely, lovely beer, really, really. Sometimes it's hard to describe a really, really good beer. You can just taste it, it's just there. And sometimes it's really difficult to put just why the beer is so good into words. I know it's my job to do that for you guys, but um, it's sending all sorts of beautiful messages to my brain, like this beer's amazing. And that's enough. That's probably enough for you guys to want to go out and try it. So I'm going to rate this. This is this is a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Riedel Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.